dear student welcome to my channel main topic of this video is query and query operation in information retrieval and sub topic is automatic local analysis under automatic local analysis two techniques are there for query expansion local clustering and local context analysis i have already covered the video on local clustering now in this video focus is on local context analysis now let us start query expansion through local context analysis is a combination of local plus global local is that retrieve the local documents and global is nothing but the generation of the thesaurus from concept of top retrieved documents so here we are not giving attention to individual query words but we are giving attention to the concept from the set of query words now we will first take the look back of local clustering and after that we can see the comparison between how the local context analysis is differ from the local clustering in local clustering we follow the following steps retrieve initial results the system first fetches the documents for the original query it analyzes only the high rank documents from those results within those documents it groups a terms that frequently co occur indicating a potential relationship by using variety types of matrix for each term in the original query it selects the most relevant neighboring terms from the cluster the original query is then expanded by adding those selected terms aiming to capture broader range of relevant information so in this way above steps are carried out for query expansion using local clustering now local context analysis is a global is a combination of global analysis as well as local analysis so what step of global analysis is used in the local context analysis is explained here it analyzes the relationship between the terms across the entire document collection rather than focusing on subset of relevant documents so for global analysis we are not looking for a local retrieved documents but all the documents but here we are not using this concept we are retrieving the documents locally but the sorus we are constructing on the locally retrieved documents so this part of global analysis is used here it often involve building the sorus that is structure representation of term relationship to guide the query expansion the sorus is nothing but the dictionary it represents the concept and their connection so here we focused more at a broader level that is nothing but the concept rather than the query terms expensive to create but valuable for both query expansion and browsing because to create the sorus we require to use the nlp algorithms query expansion select the terms closest to the overall query instead of individual query terms for expansion from the terms build concept idea behind the local context analysis is adapting a global analysis concept to local document sets for more focused expansion so here we are retrieving the local documents and from that lo local documents we are constructing the sorus and the sorus is nothing but the concept collection from the retrieved documents introduction to the local context analysis this is very important it uses the noun groups that is single double or triple nouns instead of single keywords to capture the richer meaning from the documents for query expansion concepts are selected from the top ring documents based on their co occurrence with the query terms instead of considering the entire document it employs a passage that is text window of fixed size like global analysis because in global analysis also we are not seeing the entire document but the passage from the document because it provides a broader context because we want to find out the concept which is uh, we extract from the passages rather than from the entire document passages are used to identify co occurrence between the concept and query terms three terms of local context analysis passage retrieval divide the top rank documents into fixed length passages for example 300 words is equal to one passage rank this passage like individual documents now here we are not working on entire document but we are working on the passages concept similarity this is important step for each concept that is noun group in the top rank passages calculate the similarity to the entire query uses tf idf variant for ranking so i will explain with the example how that concept similarity is achieved and it's very easy to understand query expansion adds the top m rank pass concepts to the original query assign weights to the added concept by using this formula optionally it emphasizes the original query terms because it should not happen that we are expanding the query and we are adding the new concept but at the same time when we add the new concept to the query or query expanded 
we should give the attention to the original query terms also so sometimes we may give more weights to the uh, original query terms than the new terms added now this is explained with the simple example that is step 2 step 1 step 2 and step 3 now just make the assumption that query is given to retrieve the relevant documents for a given query three keywords are there from local repository documents are retrieved for query expansion using local context analysis now we are going for local context analysis nlp algorithms are applied using the noun groups which is present in the passages to retrieve the concept from that documents whatever the documents retrieved locally from that nlp algorithms for on that nlp algorithms are applied to extract the concept top rank documents are divided into passages now let us assume that in our query three keywords are there that is k1 k2 and k3 this is keywords two concepts are identified c1 and c2 by using the nlp algorithms and which work on the noun groups of the extracted documents four top rank documents are retrieved for simplicity we take a very small small value four top rank documents are retrieved from each document two passages are formed so four documents are there and for each document two passages therefore eight passages are there and from that eight passages we identify uh, uh, the number of concept using the nlp algorithm now here n is equal to eight that is capital eight that is total number of passages now here small n is nothing but top number of top rank passages but for simplicity here we are assuming that small n is equal to capital n and n is nothing but top rank concept so we require to find out the top rank concept and you we are adding this top rank concept to our original query now this step is very important to understand detailed explanation that is how we find out the concept similarity the similarity we require to find out between the query and concept because here we are not giving attention to the individual query terms but we find out the similarity between the entire query and that concept between the each related concept and the original query is computed as follow where n is the number of top rank passages is considered similarity of qc is equal to projection operator that is we are doing the multiplication sigma into sorry delta plus log of fcki into idfc divided by log of f into idfi now i will explain now this delta is a constant parameter which avoids a value equal to zero now how to calculate this now see in our example total eight passages are there and for query three keywords are there k1 k2 and k3 and two uh, concepts we extracted from the eight passages by using the nlp algorithms now we are finding now just see this equation now we required this is the entire equation but in this entire equation first we require to give concentrate on this how to calculate this term now we are calculating log of f of c comma k c f is nothing but the frequency and we are taking the log operator now here we require to even we are calculating the similarity of entire query with the concept but internally we require to consider the each individual keyword now here we are finding from each passage we are finding c1 and k1 similarity this is nothing but their equation here j is nothing but the passage now we are not considering the documents so here j is nothing but 8 that is 8 passages are there because we are considering the small n and capital n are same so 8 passages are there and for each passages we are making the addition that is probability of that is a uh, function frequency function of ij into function of cj now here j is nothing but the passage i is nothing but that particular keyword and c is nothing but the concept so here we are taking this c1 and k1 in all passages this c2 and k1 in all passages c1 and k2 with all passages c2 and k2 with all passages here c1 c1 with k3 k3 so we are finding out finding out this value using this equation so when we do the summation so we are checking this value so for simplicity the uh, it is very difficult to take the example but you just make the assumption that we are getting some number or some frequency term when we are taking the relationship of c1 and k1 now here 
after that we are making the summation now here we are making the summation for entire passages so we are getting six result c1 k1 c2 k1 c1 k2 c2 k2 c1 k3 and c2 k3 that is for the concept one with all these three keywords with the concept two with all these keywords this is we have given only one query so here our query is only single query but here now our concepts are two c1 and c2 so this is for c1 concept and this is for c2 concept this is our query q so we are getting this result so when we are finding out this similarity we require to multiply by this idfc and idfi now they are same as our inverse document frequency that we have already used in our vector model and log n is nothing but n is nothing but top rank passages but we are considering the total number of passages and top rank passages are same for simplicity so total eight passages are there so it is nothing but log of eight now idfc and idfi we always calculate across the documents that is nothing but across the passage so this formula we have already used in vector model so idfi is nothing but maximum of one because we require to take the uh, maximum value between this term and this term so it is this is very easy this is a maximum function but i will explain this this for you is constant is used log of 10 n is nothing but top uh, uh, sorry total number of passages which are 8 and npi is nothing but how many times that uh, how many times that particular keyword comes across the document so if that keyword comes in all passages at that time it's important is uh, it's important is reduced because idfi is always give the focus that if it occurs frequently it reduces its importance and same for idfc that here 5 is constant log 10 n is nothing but total number of passages which are 8 and this is nothing but how many times or this particular passage comes into all uh, how many times this concept come into the all passages so idfi and idfc same same as inverse document frequency we already calculated in the vector model so three idf majors for k1 k2 k3 across the n passages and two idf majors for c1 c2 across the n passages so we will get three majors for this and we will get the two majors for this so we are just putting this value into the formula make the this is the multiplication taking the multiplication and final value we will get the similarity between the query and the concept so here we are getting the two concepts are there so for that query we are getting the two value one is for c1 and second is for c2 and we will check which is maximum so for example if c1 concept is more powerful than c2 then we are adding that c con c1 concept into the query expansion or we may add the words related noun words related to that concept into the query expansion also and at the same time if we want we can give more weightage to the existing query terms than the new added uh, noun terms which is added from the concept c so this is nothing but the local context analysis and it is very easy to apply also so only these formulas are there that is first this for this we are taking this their frequency and here we are taking their inverse document frequency so this is nothing but all about the local context analysis now once we do this then we find out the top m rank concept then we find out the top uh, concepts and we are adding into the existing query as i have already explained so this is all about the local context analysis references are used for this presentation thank you